welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kyla and in this video it's time to talk about all the books that I plan to read in the month of August and like let me tell you there are a ton of new releases in this video. And I couldn't be more excited about it. July and August has blessed us with a ton of new releases that I am super interested in and my library came through for a lot of them and it's perfect because I'm about to go on a week-long beach vacation so like what better time to read all of the things than when you're just sitting on the beach. So I have ones that I specifically picked out for that vacation and then some others that I'm just so excited to like get to see what I think of them because they've been on my most anticipated list for a while. And then we have book clubs and all of the things. So let's just go ahead and dive in. So for book clubs, I actually have two picks that I'm going to be reading along with some friends this month. So first one is for the book troupe and it's also going to be combined with Kayla's book club which is the literally dead book club. Why is that so hard to say? Literally dead book club. Anyways it's going to be a twisted love story by Samantha Downing. I am nervous for this one. I'm also very excited. This is a domestic thriller, and if you know anything about my reading taste, you know that I don't really jive that well with domestic thrillers. I DNF a lot of them, and to be honest, I've stopped picking them up because I just know that they're not really my taste. However, one, because it's a book club, I'm willing to give it another shot, and two, it's Samantha Downing, and I have read from Samantha Downing before and really, really, really enjoyed her writing and her character building, so I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what I think. This is definitely one that I plan on checking out from the library or listening to on audio. I am excited though. I am excited because I really do enjoy Samantha Downing's writing and like you just never know. You just never know with a domestic thriller. So like this could be something that we've never seen before. So I'm definitely willing to give it a shot and like regardless it'll be fun to discuss it on live shows. And then the second one that I'm going to be reading for a book club. This is technically the July book club pick but there's still a few days left in July slash I plan on reading this like the beginning of August before the live show so it still counts and that is going to be the seven year slip by Ashley Poston this is for Liv's Library's Patreon book club and this is my first time participating so I'm actually so excited and equally as stoked that this is the pick because I actually really loved The Dead Romantics I read it earlier this year I'm not a romance gal it's not my go-to genre it's just not something I grab gravitate towards a lot. It's not something that I hate, I just don't gravitate towards it. But this time of year is perfect for reading romance. I just love going to like the beach or whatever with a romance. It's just like if there's any time of year it's going to be now so I'm so excited for this and I love Ashley Poston's writing and the way she works in really good plots into her romance. It's not just about the romance, it's actually more plot heavy. I'm hoping that it is the same with this one and all I know about this one is we have our main character she moves into her aunt's old apartment or something she walks in and there's a man there who's like really good looking but she's like what in the world are you doing in my apartment and he's like what are you doing in my apartment turns out he lives seven years in the past or the future I don't remember I don't care to know beforehand. I'm just gonna go into it. But that just sounds so fun and so different and kind of along the same lines as like the dead romantics. And uh, you're just gonna be unraveling the story and I am so excited. I'm also stoked that it's a book club pick so we can go on the live show and like have a discussion. Fun to like hear everyone's opinions. So that's that. And while we're talking about romances, I did pick out another romance to bring along on my beach vacations. So we'll talk about all the books that I plan on reading that week. We're just going for a week. We're going to go sit. Literally, I'm just going to go park my butt at the beach and like pretend that like I enjoy summer for 
this week and that I'm not looking forward to fall. Um, but the romance that I chose to bring on that vacation is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I have read from Emily Henry before, didn't really enjoy it, but I know that this is like a cult favorite, so I'm stoked to get into it. All I know about this one is that we have two writers slash authors who either are forced to work together or they're competing for something. Surprisingly, I've actually avoided a lot about this book other than knowing that like people love it. And that the main, one of the main characters, Charlie, I believe is his name, is like one of people's favorites like book characters. So I, I have a feeling I'm going to love it, but like, I'm also still a little bit weary, but also really excited. And I just feel like a romance is like the perfect thing to bring on a beach vacation. There were so many <laughs> that I could have chosen, but I do have a little bit of FOMO for not reading this yet. So it had to be this one. It just had to. And while we're talking about vacation, let's talk about the stack of books that I plan on bringing with me. We are driving, so do not worry. I am not packing all of these in a suitcase I can bring as many as I want to and that's a glorious thing because this is quite the stack but like I can't narrow it down and really what else am I going to do I'm gonna sit on the beach and I'm going to read and like that's really all we're planning on doing that week so the more books the merrier in my opinion. So the first one is Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand. Technically this is a reread but not really. I DNF'd this before. Um, I gave it a shot but this was before I was really into YA horror or thrillers and I just didn't really give it a fair chance because it just wasn't my jam at the time. I was coming from a place of reading like a lot of contemporary fiction and thrillers but not necessarily horror and not really into like YA horror but now y'all know I'm like obsessed with YA horror so I just feel like it's time for me to give this another shot because I do think it's something that I'm really going to enjoy from what I've heard. This is a sapphic horror that um, gives like Stranger Things vibes and like I love that so there really is no reason why I shouldn't love this. I just think at the time it wasn't for me but like if I've learned anything about DNFing it doesn't always mean it's a DNF forever. That's why my shelf on Goodreads is called DNF for now because you just never know when your reading taste is going to change, when you're going to be ready for something else and like I'm ready to give this another shot and I just feel like it's the perfect time of year to read this too, especially on vacation. This gives like island vibes, I'm going to be on the beach, how many times can I say it? It's fine. I act like I don't live literally two feet from the beach but like <laughs> I just feel like we're gonna be in a whole nother world on our vacation. It's like a beach house, small little village kind of deal. It just feels different, okay? It just feels different. Anyways, next one, Suburban Hell um, by, oh my god, they covered it, Maureen Kilmer. And I chose this because it's an over-the-top horror and like I just feel like one, it's giving me summer vibes with this cover and from what I've heard this is kind of like small town over the top, dramatic suburban moms. That's exactly what I wanna be reading on my vacation. So decided to get this one, picked it up from the library. This is great. It's also really short. So I just feel like this is gonna be perfect. Plop myself in my beach chair, read that in one day. This one, oh my God, so excited about, Dead 11. I have been hearing such mixed reviews about this so far. But like this cover screams, screams vacation to me. Also, our little beach house has a VHS player and like it's always a tradition that we watch like the most popular VHS tapes. So like we watch Jurassic Park, we watch Twister, uh, all on VHS because it's just the experience. There is a DVD player there too, but like, no. It's all about the VHS that week. Um, so I just feel like this is perfect. It's just giving the right vibe for my week away. And also, I mean, this also takes place on an island. It's giving 90s vibes, which yes, please. I've also heard this being compared to like Goosebumps for adults. 
could I want anything more? No, I couldn't. So we're going to be reading this. And then lastly, this was a recommendation from my friend Michaela from Michaela Reads. I will link her below. If you haven't checked out her channel already, please do so. And also if you are looking for like good feminist reads, but like in thrillers and horrors, and you want some like good recommendations that aren't necessarily so mainstream, Oh my god, her channel is for you because she really does her research and she reads outside of the box. She reads popular things too, but she reads a lot of outside the box things and she really tries to find like smaller writers and even just like promote smaller creators all the time. I freaking love her and I love her channel and I'm always getting book recommendations from her. Again, that just like aren't the ones that I see all the time from everyone else. So highly 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 recommend checking her out again we'll link her below but she has been talking about bandit queens for a while on her channel <laughs> um i feel like every recommendation video she's like bandit queens or like anytime someone is like what's your favorite she's like bandit queens and i just needed to know i need to know what the deal is this is a mystery i believe yeah, the little tagline says she didn't kill her husband but why not let everyone believe she did but i believe this like goes deeper and is more to it than just like a typical domestic who done it at least from her recommendation it sounds like there's a lot more to this story and I just am so here for it plus I just think like a good mystery I gotta throw it in amongst all of the horror and like basic thrillers I have going on so also this cover is giving I'm obsessed with it I love the purple on the spine too it's so pretty so I'm stoked to get to this and that is all that I have for that. And I mean, honestly, I don't think. I think if I packed any more, my husband might have a hissy fit. Um, but I do have some other books that I plan on reading. Obviously, if I don't get to any of these on vacation, they'll just carry over until afterwards. But like the rest of the month, and the Saint Ambrose School for Girls. This is a YA thriller slash horror that I've heard being compared to, I mean, the big names, of course, like Bunny, Catherine House, um, The Craft, things like that. And all I know is that we have our main character. She gets sent to this school, the St. Ambrose School, but she has a dark and kind of mysterious past. She's also got some mental health issues going on and she starts to get picked on, I believe, but then obviously someone ends up dead and we're kind of unfolding a mystery while also kind of dealing with like some mean girls and stuff like that too. It just sounds like a whole vibe and I thought about holding off until the fall but library you know it just it came off right away and I was like well I guess I'm reading this in August but like also really excited about it. And then I also have Dark Corners by Megan Golden. Can you tell I'm going for like all of the thrillers and horrors that give me summer vibes right now? I just feel like I need to get to them all before spooky season and like I'm really diving back into like more fantasy and getting into all the spooky reads that give me all the fall vibes like Dark Academia and oh my god can't wait but I can because this is also a very exciting stack so this actually isn't even out yet it was my book of the month pick for July I'm waiting to read this until the audio becomes available because if you know anything about this series so this is the second in the Night Swim series from what I've heard this can be read as a standalone you don't have to know the first one to be able to read this one but I haven't read it yet so I can't tell you that for sure but if you know anything about these books they're so good on audio because we are following a podcaster as she unravels a case and is doing her podcast live so the audiobook is very mixed media there's tapes involved there's recordings phone calls all of that it's just so good on audio I'm waiting until the audiobook comes through so I can read in tandem but I hope that that happens this month because I really want to get it. But this actually doesn't release until August 8th. So like 
my library is it's on order but it's not there yet and it's not on script or anything yet because it's not out yet so fingers crossed the audiobook comes through this month and I can actually get to this one and so far that is all I have for my reads this month I don't know what book of the month is going to bring me this month because the list isn't up yet as I'm filming this a little bit before the beginning of August so who knows what's going to be added to this list when the book of the month list comes out. I also am kind of in the middle of a series right now, um, the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So like I could read books three and four in that as well. But like I also am waiting for the audiobooks to roll out too. So like that's a possibility, but also not a guarantee. So we'll just have to see what happens. But I just think that this is a good stack and I'm just very excited to read all of these summery thriller horror vibes and scare the crap out of myself while I'm away. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear in the comments what you plan on reading in the month of August. If you plan on checking any of these out if you've read them already what are your opinions spoiler free please if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe if you are not already turn on the bell so you never miss a video and i will see you in my next one bye with you and i the future is